Estee Lauder has been a big champion of breast cancer charities, particularly breast cancer awareness. And joining me now is the chairman of Estee Lauder, William Lauder. Now, there is a big change going on with the campaign this year because you're going from awareness to activism. And what's really behind that change? Well, you know, after 20 years of raising awareness, everyone's aware. Just imagine, all the NFL football players now are going to be having some sort of pink on their uniforms for the entire month. Now what we have to do is get together and get motivated for action, because we want to make sure that in our lifetimes we'll find a cure for this disease. What is one of the um, research activities that you are most, I guess, enthusiastic about? That the one that, because I'm sure you read about all the different uh, research uh, studies that you're helping to facilitate. What's the one that's really kind of made you go, wow, that's really, really cool? You know, to me, the most important thing is the way women are treated when, they, when they're first diagnosed. Today, so many women, when they're treated, the therapies are so targeted that it doesn't have the same impact as it used to on their bodies, on their cells. They, may not, they might not lose their hair. They might not even miss too many days of work. They're there for their families in a way that they might not have been before because the science has gotten so much better in targeting the disease in a way that they weren't able to do before. And that's really incredible because the impact on lives is really about the humanity, about the people around you, the people you directly touch. And if you're not as affected, you are treated well and you move on and we hope then that you don't have any recurrence. What is Estee Lauder doing to help uh, raise money? What in particular is it when you buy a product that a part of the money goes to research? The Estee Lauder Companies has something called the Breast Cancer Awareness Campaign. We focus primarily in the month of October, and each of our many different brands has a specific, very special product with some sort of pink theme where when you purchase that product, the proceeds from the sale of that product go to fund a, con a contribution from us, from the Breast Cancer Awareness Campaign, to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, which is the dedicated organization that helps fund 180 researchers around the world. I have to say, you know, your campaign has been, dare I say it, blemish-free because, uh, you know, it's it's just been around for years. There's never been any issue. It's It's been a clean campaign. I mean, you must be very proud of the work that you guys have done along with those, uh, those ideas. I'm so proud not only of the work of the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, the brilliant researchers they funded, but of all the Estee Lauder employees around the world who have helped promote our breast cancer awareness campaign. We've given away over 120 million pink ribbons in the last 20 years to raise awareness, and now our focus is let's go make even more of a difference than we already have in the last 20 years. Have you ever had any worry about pink washing? You know, there's been these articles and stories about it, but we know we're doing the right thing for all of the stakeholders who are important for us. First and foremost, and what are we doing in raising money? We're totally clear about how we raise our money. We spend very, a very small portion of the funds that the Breast Cancer Research Foundation funds. Most of it goes to, 90-something percent of it, goes towards funding the research, number one. Number two, this is a real issue. This is a real issue affecting one in eight women. This is not something that goes away. And how we raise awareness and how we go about treating it, and we're making real progress in the treatment of people who are affected by this disease. And I don't know if you could say, well, gee, because we've made it a public campaign and it's a disease, and now people are no longer, women are no longer embarrassed or shy about saying, I have this disease, I'm being treated by this disease, and this is what I've done. That's an incredible, we think how, long, how far we've come in 20 years when it used to be something that women were embarrassed about, they didn't talk about. Now they're completely open about it. They discuss it not only amongst themselves, but pe women who are public fig figures put themselves out there to be leaders in saying this is the right thing to do. And I admire that. And I can't say, well, gee, somebody doesn't like the fact that you've got a presence in this. Why not? How are sales going at Estee Lauder? Because that's going to be clear and important on raising this money. Well, you know, we're always confident in all of our employees. We're doing very well in certain markets. We wish we could do better in others, but we're very, I'm very confident in all of our brands and the success we have in connecting with our consumer. So we're always really thrilled. All right, well, it sounds like if you buy some Estee Lauder lipstick, you're going to be helping uh, people with breast cancer. That is Chairman William Lauder from Estee Lauder, and I'm Deborah Borchardt with The Street.